All right, so you've been hearing this little word mole. What exactly is a mole? Well, a mole is a unit, okay? It's the SI unit. For the amount of a substance. <laughs> You're probably thinking, what does that mean? Okay, well what one mole tells us is that any compound we pick, one mole of it will be equal to the molar mass. Now what's molar mass? Molar mass is what you just learned how to calculate. It's the mass of the entire compound. So if we wanted to know how much one mole of C6H3O2 weighed, okay, what's the molar mass of one mole, it would be equal to what we just calculated. Okay, so the 107 point, what was the rest of it, 0897? Okay, so one mole of any substance is equal to the molar mass of that substance. Well, we can use that fact to convert using dimensional analysis. Okay, so how many grams are there in 3.5 moles of H2O? All right, well, you got 3.5 moles. Okay, that's what we're starting with. We know we're going to convert, and if you remember, our conversion factor for mole was one mole is equal to the molar mass, okay, in grams. So if you have a mole here, you must have a mole down here so that they cancel out. Well, how many moles do you have in your conversion factor? Just one. So you have one right there. Now. That is equal to the molar mass of H2O. So we got to go down here real quick and find the molar mass of H2O. So we got hydrogen, there's two of them, and we have one oxygen. We're going to multiply by the molar mass of both of these elements, okay? The mass, the number on the bottom of the periodic table. Okay, so we got 16 and 2.0158. All right, now we're going to add those up. Get 18.0158 grams. Now that number, the molar mass of H2O, of water, goes right here. Okay, now it's just a simple math problem. So 3.5 times 18.0158. All right, 63.0553. Okay, now our moles canceled, so this is grams. Now, of course, you have to sig fig. There are two, two right there. So there's your answer. Okay, let's try another one. Okay, how many moles are in 4.5 grams of HCl? All right, well, we got 4.5 grams. Okay, and remember our conversion factor was one mole is equal to the molar mass. Okay. So if you have grams here, you got to have grams here so that they'll cancel. Now looking up here at our conversion factor, where is the grams going to be? Oh yeah, grams is mass, right? Okay, so we got to find the molar mass of HCl. So you got 1H, 1Cl, and multiply by the mass of the elements themselves. So you got 1.0079. And 35.453. We're going to add those up. 
break back out our little handy dandy calculator up here. Whoopsie. Alright, so we got 36.4609. Okay, so that number, how many grams are in one mole of HCl? Okay, now this is equal to what? It's equal to one mole. So we're going to put one mole on the top. Now you can abbreviate mole, M-O-L. I know you get to drop off one letter. How exciting, right? 4.5 times 1, 4.5. It's about about 36.4609. Okay, handy dandy calculator. 4.5 divided by 36.4609. All right, I got 0.123. Now your units moles, right? All right, now sig figs. 4.5, that's two sig figs. Here's your first two significant. That three won't make that two round up, so we can just drop that off the end. So 0.12 moles.